Hi friends, welcome to the video here for, this is going to be Aries love reading and we'll just see what's coming up in the energies for Aries right now. So know your moon sign, know your Venus, it will help. The moon is what makes you happy and Venus is your pleasure. It would bring, is what brings you the satisfaction and the pleasure from things. Um, so let's see, Aries, show us Aries, uh, this could be texting, traveling, wow, there's an air sign here in the cross, this is someone from the past who you have a history with. They've been watching you, Page of Swords. Here it is, Six of Wands. You caught their eye. Page of Cups. Kind of just an easy, friendly energy. Five of Wands, you're in competition with others for some reason. Struggle to control. King of Cups, water sign, some with deep emotions. They're going to contact you. Ooh. You have to be careful how you handle this. You have to handle what they're going to say carefully because it comes with the tower. <laughs> Look at her face. She's like, what? So it comes in with the tower of this king of water, king of air. They send you a message. They could be older than you. Oh, the star card and the nine of cups. This is a wish coming true. The star healing and release, nine of cups, wishes that come true. Wow, the star and the nine of cups? How is this a thing? How, how, how? How is this a thing? With a tower. So the rugs pulls out, pulled out, you get your wish, and your energy is like competing for something. Something is very important to you, but it's also important to other people too. So um, you could be competing for someone's attention or they're competing. New fire, it's exciting. Who is this king of air? This person can't make up their mind, but then they do. They bring the change. Okay, very nice. They bring the wheel. This is similar to the daily. They, the king of swords brings the wheel. It's followed up by a real gift of time, money, or energy to balance out the scales and make you feel like you're included or make you feel like your value. Six of Pentacles with the Six of Wands. This Page of Cups brings the message. The Fool, freedom, release, new beginnings. Hangman, having a moment of pause, reflection, or it could be that you are having a rude awakening, maybe. Um, okay, so comes in with the lovers, three of cups, social situations, two of wands, last minute, and nine of swords, and three of swords. Something may have happened at the last minute or um, on a whim. It didn't go well. All right, so your wish is coming true here. Who is this King of Cups sending you a message? Wow. Yeah. 
Well, there's an... Okay. There's a water sign masculine. There's also a queen of earth and nine of swords. An earth sign feminine. Maybe somebody who has money. They've got ideas going through their head about a fear of failure, a fear... Fears. Okay, who brings the change with the Wheel of Fortune? The Judgment. Okay, Karmic Judgment. What is Eight of Rods? Ace of Pentacles. A new gift, a new opportunity for money, time, energy that will be a new benefit to you. Something possibly including you in somebody's life. I don't know why that won't come in at all there so there's a new pentacle coming with messages somebody's been watching you observing you um it comes in with this big revelation the magician brings it could be dealing with the gemini the magician manifestation maneuvering page of pentacles Hangman. Something's on pause, on hold. What is the magician? They have a choice. You, there could be something where they're choosing between you and someone else. Or Eight of Pentacles. Looking very carefully. Learning about something. Being very particular. Why is there Ace of Rods? Why is it exciting? Why is it exciting with Ace of Rods? Because it's Nine of Pentacles. You may have a lot of freedom to do what you want to do. Maybe this is a person who says you won't have to work. Um, because I have this Two of Cups. Like You might be able to just enjoy your life more and spend time with this person and not really have to um, work or something like that because on your mind is accolades reputation and then in comes this page of cups who or what is the page of cups who or what is the page of cups Or what is the Page of Cups? The Devil. Oh, okay. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, could be very tempting. A King of Pentacles, a Taurus, a Capricorn, a Virgo. Maybe somebody that wants to control a situation. And a Queen of Wands. I think they like your freedom. Why is the five of wands here? Okay, your energy is justice. Justice and a ten of swords. So you're getting uh, maybe legal justice, correction, balance. Maybe something was feeling unfair for you. Um... Maybe you feel like somebody was stabbing you in the back or betraying your trust. This king of water, very compassionate individual. Um, there is something kind of negative around the situation with the devil, though. The devil, the nine of swords. There's memories that have to do with, like, maybe even manipulation. What is six of cups? Ace of Swords. You're going to get new information about someone who you have a history with. And it is going to bring you a wish coming true with the Star and the Nine of Water. 
It's bringing you justice. What else for Aries love? What is this? Eight of Swords. Somebody's very concerned about making the right choice. Chariot, determined to go forward. Mm, why is this a Nine of Cups for Aries at the end? Because uh, you are the High Priestess. You're following your intuition. Oh, Alan, you also are our sovereign. You are the emperor. You can have oversight over a situation. Like I said, like some person may say to you, you don't need to work anymore. Or something like that. Page of Wands. It could be a job offer. A strong Leo energy. Somebody younger. Comes up as a king of the water. Someone's left out in the cold. King of coin, five of coin, five of swords. They feel entitled and deserving. And they have a choice to make. They don't know if they're making the right choice. Water sign. Wanting to... Um, could be any kind of water sign, but they want to help you out. They want to give you the benefit, maybe even give you the benefit of the doubt in some certain scenario. There is something here, but a page of swords in the past, maybe something was said very blunt or very immature. Oh, here we are, Emperor. Something's going to change your life. The death is under underlying. What do we have of Six of Cups? High Priestess? Secrets? The victory? Or the reputation? The recognition? What's coming up? The death and the fool. Wow. Yeah, it's like, oh my goodness gracious. You're kidding me. So we've got an Eight of Cups. The fool, the death, the tower. This is a sudden change um, in some kind of situation, but your energy is, you're getting justice for this. Huh, okay. Hopefully it's not some kind of situation where someone is trying to pick, pick between you and somebody else. And if they are, <clears throat> You're, hopefully you're not being strung along. Like, don't be strung along because you are sovereign and you trust your intuition. The star card is healing and letting go. The nine of cups is personal satisfaction. So, root of the issue is six of cups, a person from the past or an, a, an emotional tie to the past that causes a conflict in the in the current energy. What's for excuse me, Aries, cutting something away. <sighs> Harvesting or something's being cut away. Wow. So I got fate, something being harvested and cut away. I also have the unconditional love and support and the deepest wish coming true. All right, so this is the reading for Aries Love Life. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.